XFBG 3D55 for SV. So, uh, TV turns on, it works for like a minute, then it's go off, and that uh, that logo keep flashing. That Vizio logo keep flashing white and orange. And sometimes you can see how is the picture. Lines and uh, flickers over there. This is a uh, vertical lines. So I did. I did see these uh, TVs before. The same. Uh, the same series that have. Some of them it was a T-Con uh, problem, and some of them it was the, the motherboard problem. <clears throat> so I'm going to work in the T-Con board, because the TV showed the picture, and sometimes it's got a lines. So that's why we go first with the T-Con board. And yeah, this chick on board is very expensive. Or I declare the solder from all this And we reflow this ship. Let's try reflow this one. If we still have the problem, we're gonna reflow the one is here. If we can remove the heatsink, it's good. If not, we can reflow it uh, with the heatsink. So I warm up the heatsink and I'm going to try to... Uh, don't go by where is the capacitor, just go somewhere here. Alright. 
so I can start it flowing. The 70% of the reflow is going to be from the bottom. Because here it's more safe. So don't cause the chip to do like what's it's called uh, popcorn. Because if you keep putting a lot of heat on the top of the chip, uh, the solder inside uh, the chip is going to melt, it's going to yeah, if you put a lot of heat on the top of the chip without you moving that's going to cause the chip to uh, to stop working completely so always keep moving your hand Don't put a lot of heat in the center of the chip. So I'm going to show you the regular time. I'm not going to fast forward the, the video just for you to know how long I'm going to be reflowing the chip. So try to don't go to don't touch that uh, the capacitors. If they are melted and you touch them, you may move them, and it will be hard for you to put them back if you don't have the microscope and the micro soldering tools. So I move quick because this is the last uh, flip that I'm going to do. And you may need uh, some thermal paste on the top of the chip after you reflow it because the old thermal piece is kind of dry it's going to be off don't touch the, the board wait for it to cool down so I plug the TV on the TV is flashing orange and white it's going to be flashing like this for about uh, I can manage to three minutes sometime yeah. in this step is loading the software 
if it's keep flushing like this more than uh, five minutes, yeah, you have a problem in the main board. So let's wait for it till it starts flushing, then we power on the TV. We got a solid uh, orange light now, so let's power on the TV. Got a white light. So we got a Vizio logo, and uh, we should put something on the TV to be sure it's gonna work for a long time. Got no signal. Yeah, the picture looks good. Oh, let's test the sound. If there is a sound, picture look nice, and uh, we leave it for, uh, for a couple hours, and we see how it's gonna go. And I'm gonna put a thermal uh, pads under the the cheek on, and I put the cheek on together. <laughs> 